Utah's backcourt between THT, between Jordan Clarkson, between Oche Baji, Keontae George. Who's the two guys that should be starting in the backcourt? That's a lot of bodies. It's a lot of bodies. Give me Keontae George and Oshea Agbaji. All vibes. I think they got a nice high ceiling. I think Agbaji showed like some good flashes last year. I feel like THG has been around for a while, and I'm still not that really sold on his ceiling. Like I don't. I think that was definitely pretty overhyped at points, even if he's shown some solid flashes. And Jordan Clarkson is definitely best utilized off the bench. So now that I've seen a ton from, especially I mean, once a rookie. But not that I've seen a ton, but I think that they probably have the most upside in those two. I agree with um, Agbaji. Really like his game. Uh, he destroyed my Tar Heels in the national championship. Um, I agree with that. And give me THT solely for the MIP agendas. That's a good man right there. I'm, I'm picking THT as well. I want him to be the starting point this year. Really liked what I saw from him at the point at the end of last season. The two-guard spot is weird. I want to say Agbaji, but George and Clarkson seems like a weird duo together. Those are two really shot creation heavy guys. But Agbaji does make more sense in the starting lineup. I think he's going to be, and he already is a really good off-ball player, but I think he's going to develop into arguably one of the best purely off-ball players in the league, even if he doesn't improve that much as an on-ball creator, which he might to some extent, but... Good three-point shooter, really good off-ball movement. I think he makes a lot of sense in the starting lineup. So give me THD and Agbaji. And Clarkson and Keontae George is going to wreak havoc on teams' benches, but I think that makes sense for the starting lineup. I would really like Keontae George, though. He had a really good summer. Um, somebody to look out for it. Like, maybe, like, not so much this season, but down the line. Yeah. Be really, really nice. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about him yet. He impressed me in summer league. I'll give him that. Um, I wasn't that high on him heading into the draft. I, I like him as a three-point shooter, and I think at the very least he'll be that. But there's a lot of things I think he needs to clean up, which he can, but a lot of decision-making needs to be cleaned up. A lot of shot selection needs to be cleaned up. If he's going to continue to take tough shots, he's got to get better at them. And then does he just remain a full-time two, or does he improve his playmaking and decision-making enough to be a full-time point guard? So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure for Utah's sake, they'd love for him to be a point guard because they don't really have a true guy over there right now, but we'll see how that development goes. Would you guys take THT in Toronto now? I definitely would. I 100% would. That's our starting point guard next year. <laughs> I'd just yeah. call him, call him I'd rather have back, him over. Situation. Rather have him over Dennis Schroeder. <laughs> FIBA World Cup MVP Dennis Schroeder? Yeah. For sure. Nah, I, I think THT, if he gets a starting good job, big year. By big yeah. year, I mean like maybe like 14 like points a game or something like that. But yeah. Big year. Yeah, I think his uh, I think his assist numbers will jump a bit too. It's like he was averaging a bit over seven once he was at point last year. So, uh, yeah, if we can get more of that, that'd definitely be nice. But I'm not hopeful THC is going to start. I think he's probably the odd man out, but I hope they start him. That will suck. But, yeah, it makes sense because they drafted Keontae. They traded for Abaji. Like, they probably want to see those guys get some. some it just shouldn't be Jordan Clarkson. It definitely should not be Jordan Clarkson. If it he's is. He's not in that role. If it is, I hope he gets moved like early on, like maybe before yeah. the calendar turns. Yeah, I hope he gets moved regardless. But if I'm not mistaken, they did just pay him, so I'm not sure what's going to go on there. Yeah, okay, after December 15th, please get rid of 